Erica Popplewriter here with CEO of the Cattlemen's Beef Board, Greg Haynes. How are you doing today? Good. How about you, Erica? I'm doing well. So right. tell us, you know, what's, what's new with Cattlemen's Beef Board? Well, I guess uh, I'm kind of new with Cattlemen's Beef Board. So I've been in this role for about five months now. Uh, originally had come from the U.S. Meat Export Federation. I've been there for about 18 years. So I've been working on the checkoff side as a contractor. Uh, you know, doing activities internationally. So for me, that was good because I know as a contractor all the things that the checkoff can and can't do and, you know, how it's been established and working with a lot of those people. So this has been kind of a great experience for me to come over now uh, on this side and then be able to really oversee and look at the activities that are happening domestically as well as internationally. And, you know, a lot of good stuff is going on with the checkoff and hopefully the, the producers are excited and seeing that. Well, Speaking of, why don't you tell us a little bit about what is checkoff versus what isn't checkoff? Where are our producers' checkoff dollars going? Yeah, and I think that's a good question because one of the things that I've noticed just coming in here and meeting with producers and talking to them is that a lot of them don't really understand, you know, what the checkoff is all about, what it can and can't do. The checkoff's been around for 34 years already, so I think the people who were there setting it up and know all the nuts and bolts have kind of been moving up. And now you've got like a whole generation of producers underneath it who don't really know what the checkoff is. So this is one of the things I really want to push is, you know, getting that basic information about, you know, how the checkoff started, what can it do, what can it do. Uh, there's a lot of, I think, misinformation out there by other organizations or people who are, are saying things about the checkoff, which is, is incorrect. And so we want to be able to address that very factually. And, and uh, everything that comes out of the beef board has to be reviewed by AMS, the USDA. So we have to put those facts out. So I want to be very transparent with this and make sure the producers understand that. And, and so I think, um, you know, part of that, some of the things that the checkoff can do, you know, are, are laid out in the act and order. You know, we can do research, we can do promotion, we can do international marketing, you know, things like that, can do producer communication. So I think it's critical that um, you know, producers know that and there's a process that we go through to ensure that everything that's done from the checkoff falls into these categories and is doing what it needs to do to help build demand for the product. So as a producer, if I want to go figure out where where are where is my money going, mm -hmm. where can they go look at some of those examples? Right. Uh, they can definitely come to our website. So there's drivingdemandforbeef.com. Uh, that tells you, you know, a lot of the activities that are going on. We have eight contractors and several subcontractors who are doing all this work. So, I mean, there's so much going on on the checkoff that it's really hard to even, you know, summarize it here in just a few minutes. So I, I would suggest that they go there. Once they're there, they can also sign up for our newsletters. We've come out with some new uh, information uh, called The Drive. So it's a hard copy newsletter that we mail out. There's also monthly newsletters that you can get by email. And these are really trying to summarize all the activities and you know the great things that the checkoff is doing. Great. Again, Greg Haynes here with the Cattlemen's Beef Board talking about the checkoff. Thanks, Greg. Yeah, thanks, Erica.